Hey everybody, it's Lisa Marshall with a controversial hat. I'm thinking about posting it on Facebook or something like everybody take a vote. <laughs> That'd be crazy. It's South by Southwest, it's kicking off the music part this week, and I just thought maybe I would take you into what's happening um, with me and inside, kind of behind the scenes of what I'm doing this South by Southwest. Today I'm going to a coffee shop to work on my website and also to do a newsletter just about South by Southwest and send some follow-up on letting everybody know where I'm playing. And then I'm going to come home and work on some music and hopefully a new song. Today's Monday. It is March 12th. Um, my first show is tomorrow night at Rusty's. It's the Outlanders uh, kickoff showcase and I'm playing at 10 o'clock tomorrow night. I've got some stickers to hand out in um, getting ready to release the, my next new CD. I'll be doing everything solo this year, kind of like I did the first time I went to South by Southwest, which is um, pretty exciting. I remember my first South by is the first time I saw the Greyhound. It would be another year before I would actually move to Austin and then meet Johnny Rattelette at the gallery. And that's how we started playing together, so it's pretty exciting. I don't know if you guys remember Johnny Rattelette played drums with us, and he's now playing with Gary Clark Jr., and Gary Clark Jr. is just doing amazing things. It's a very, very exciting time. Well, we'll just take you everywhere that I go during South By, and uh, I'll film, and you'll get to see what it's like from an artist standpoint. You know, getting the right outfit on. Uh, I'm wearing Janis Joplin t-shirt today to getting your gear together, getting to the venue, and parking, which it's still just a fun time to be kind of be in it and be around so many people who are, are here with their enthusiasm about the music too. And I certainly do remember um, year before last playing at Nuno's, which is no longer there down on 6th Street and packing the place and selling out of CDs and that was pretty, that was pretty exciting. It usually happens that you do run yourself completely ragged. So I remember the last two years it was the same way. I was just exhausted by the end of South By and I think I needed a day just to sit on the couch and drool on myself and recover. <laughs> These come by Tuesday night. This Tuesday, Rusty's down on 7th Street between Neches and Trinity. Uh, I will have the CDs live from Antones from the band when uh, Mary Russ and Johnny and I played at Antones with Patrice Pike and the Coveters. I will go on at 10 o'clock, but the music starts at 5 o'clock, and there's a really, really fabulous lineup. Again, I'm going on at 10. Actually, I think I'm 10. Yeah, let's we'll say 10 o'clock. But just be prepared, because you know how these things go. Sometimes they get behind, and you're trying to work with that many bands and stuff, and trying to get people on and off stage. It just happens. So, um, I hope you'll get there a little bit early and see some other music. Off to see the wizard and I will check in with you soon. I hope everybody's well. Happy South by Southwest. 